Hey guys, Lori Ballen here. We're going to get just a little bit technical today. I'm going to show you a tool that I use that can help measure uh, your featured snippets. So featured snippets are what appear here on the search engine. Let's type in something like uh, best way to wash my cat. <laughs> All right. You see what happened on top here? This video is a featured snippet. That means it's in that zero position and it's not paid. It's an earned in position. What you're going to see in this top spot is going to vary based on the types of things that you research. So for example, let's look up keto chocolate, all right, keto chocolate chip cookies. All right, so this particular one is, is showing a, uh, a recipe segment here and all uh, three of these people have a great position there in that uh, featured area. So there's not just one, but there's several. Now let's look up what is the temperature in Las Vegas. All right. So in this particular case, weather.com has the featured snippet up there. Um, sometimes you'll see businesses. So I think I did Ballon Real Estate Websites. That's my brother's company. Brothers, plural. Oh, I don't know where it was. I had one popping up there earlier. Um, let's see. What is a master planned community. I wanted to show you a few of the different um, segments or options that show up there. All right, so here's maps. These maps are appearing. Sometimes you'll see a, a, a list. So if you were to look up best, let's see, best pizza in Las Vegas, what shows up? maps so that one has the local maps okay so I'll show you some others as we bounce around over here for a second I use a tool called SEM rush and I'm gonna put a link below in this video you can uh, check it out and there is a free trial and then you have to pay if you want the bells and whistles or the extra searches that types of thing and what i'm going to show you today is definitely something you'll end up needing to have a membership for to dive very deep within there now what we know is that these featured snippets i'll steam up my carpet are taking up a large amount of the clicks on the page so this is an interesting one here. You have a shopping carousel that Google has placed on top, and then you have the featured snippet. So this person created a step-by-step -step guide on how to steam clean a carpet using a steam mop, and they earned the featured snippet. In addition, there's a link to their website. So they're going to get a majority of the clicks on the page by having that. So yes, we... If we would love to have featured snippets, especially when they are a video or they are uh, uh, something that links back to our website. Now, how did that person earn that featured snippet? If we click through to their page, I'm going to show you where that uh, bullet point list is being populated from. So you see here this table of contents. Okay, that's not it in this particular case. Let's keep going. Sometimes it's populated from the table of contents. And other times it's being populated from these bullet pointed um, headings that are making up a new paragraph. So number one, clear the room. Look over here. Number one, clear the room. Number two, vacuum the carpet. Number two, vacuum the carpet. So if you want to earn a featured snippet, one way is by creating these lists where you're saying 10 steps to do this, nine tips to do this, and you're literally typing out number one, 
and then you do a segment, and then number two, and then you do a, a section, a block, a paragraph, whatever you want to call that area there, okay? Now, in addition, in order to earn a featured snippet, generally speaking, your page needs to rank high on the search engines. So let's take a look at this one, Steam Cleaner Pro. Let's see where they rank for that term, how to steam clean my carpet. We would scroll down and we would look for, oh, so in this particular case, what they did is this website was ranking in position one, two, or three down here, but because they earned the featured snippet, Google has removed them from the list below and is giving them the featured snippet instead, where before, I don't know how long ago last year, we had both. You could earn the featured snippet and you could earn a position here but in this case, they because they have the snippet, they've already given them a position, so they're not putting them down here as well. Now, they can also show up in this People Also Ask box, which I cover more on a separate um, topic. But it's the same idea. Answer the questions. Create a, a great article. So typically speaking, in order to earn a fe featured snippet, you will have a blog post or a web page that already ranks position one, two, three, or four typically before you'll earn that. That's what we see the most of. Now let's take an example of how to find out if you have one of these featured snippets. And one of the reasons why I will frequently go look is because all of a sudden I'll have traffic skyrocketing and I wanna see why, what is it, okay? So let's look at this website here. We'll look at my uh, valinvegas.com. So this is a, a, my real estate website hyper local web local website okay so if I were just to type in my domain name I can see how many keywords I rank for in the top uh, 100 positions of Google how much traffic I'm earning and then what the traffic value is basically how much money I would have to spend on paid clicks to earn to get the same amount of traffic I'm earning in organically by ranking on the search engine so I'd be spending nineteen thousand dollars today a month to earn the same amount of traffic that I'm earning organically by ranking on the search engines. All right, so what we do is I typically sort these by clicking this position column and you're going to be able to see where uh, you rank on Google for specific search terms, okay? So I'm going to sort those so that their number one is first. So these will be all of the positions that I rank number one for, and then it'll go down to number two, and then it'll go down to number three, okay? So this is where I usually start to see if I have any featured snippets. And sometimes I'll know because I'll have traffic that all of a sudden goes up, and I'll say, oh, what? let me go see. And I either had a keyword phrase move from page two of Google to page one, or I earned the snippet and I can see the traffic that's coming, okay? So right here, this term here, closing costs for buyer in Las Vegas. SERP feature. So SERP stands for Search Engine Results Page. Well, this little crown right here is telling me whether or not the SERP, the Search Engine Results Page, the page on Google, has a featured snippet or not. They don't all have featured snippets. Although I believe we're, we're saying now like 75% of them do, they don't all. So you'll be able to see a crown if that search engine results page is awarding anybody with a snippet, so a featured snippet. Here, that term there is my company name. They don't have a featured snippet being awarded for that name. There's not enough search volume, it doesn't fit. Same here, as a, that's a home local home builder. So they don't all. So you will see no crown if there is not a featured snippet on the results page, which means you don't have to worry about trying to earn one because there isn't one being awarded. That being said, if you hover over them, you can see when you have the snippet. So in this particular case, featured snippet linked to Val in Vegas. So I have it. Now there is another way in the site audit when you actually track certain keywords manually type in certain keywords you want to monitor it will tell you there also if you have one but i'm just showing you this way because it's super easy 
And I believe that when you set up a free trial, you can see those up to a certain point. Okay. Now let's take a look at what my featured snippet looks like. So I can see here closing costs for a buyer in Las Vegas. So I'm going to scroll over and I'm going to click this little box here and that's going to open the SERP, the search engine results page. And I can then see what my featured snippet looks like. Okay. Now I notice right out of the gate that I have an old date there. I need to fix that. So this is a, this is a good reason sometimes why we want to check those. So let me, uh, let me go to, uh, incognito window and I'm going to type in that phrase, closing costs for buyer in Las Vegas, closing costs for buyer in Las Vegas. I know you can't see what I'm typing in there, but there we go. Okay. Um, interesting. So in this, in it today, I don't see, I must've changed something in that term. If you change anything in that term, you might find a different result because it's based on that one. Exactly. All right. So I need to go play with that. So, um, here I have position number one and I have position number two and see where that says 2017 that's being populated off of a, um, a search engine tool that I'm using and I need to go in there and change that 2017 date. All right. So there's a good reason to check. Now let's go back to our tool. Whoops. There we go. All right. Let's look at the next one. Airstream village, Las Vegas rent. Oh, I have the featured snippet there too. Let's go see what it is. Airstream village, Las Vegas rent. Oh, that looks great. So, that's amazing that Google actually took a little piece of my blog and moved it up to the top to best answer that person's search intent. Now, again, I'm looking at that date going 2015. That's pretty old. I should go back and check that rent now to see <laughs> how much that's changed over the last five years, because I bet it has changed. All right. So that tells me I probably ought to go look at that one. How about this one? Summerlin pool schedule. I have the featured snippet. Let's go take a look at what it says. All right, good. That one, the date's accurate. All right. So it's got the trail swimming pool, the hours. So you see the difference in this, how the snippet is being pulled. It's in this particular case, it pulled the little times that I had listed there and it made it a snippet. So in order to earn these snippets, like I said, typically you've got to write a great blog post that already ranks at the top of Google. Second, you need to have some sort of structured data on your page. That would be a recipe, a list, a step-by-step, -step, as you can see here, list of times, a video, a uh, table of contents sometimes works. So you're going to want to make sure that you are creating more than just words on the page. You want to have things like little tables. And like I said, bullet, no, bullet pointed lists, numbered lists, um, tables of contents can create those. All right. Let's see. How about this one? Advantages of retiring in Las Vegas. I have the snippet. Let's go look at it and see what they pulled there. Ah, there we go. See, there's one of my bullet pointed lists. Why retire in Las Vegas? And I've got a list of benefits on the blog. And that is why I have the featured snippet there. Okay. So that's just a touch uh, for you there. If you want to learn more, head over to balanblogger.com and make sure when the little pop up uh, shows up that you register for my free blogging guide that'll really get you started and get you rolling with this and make sure you subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one.